This is the new, awesome and huge resin 3D printer from Elegu, the Saturn II. It has a massive AK screen, very sturdy build with metal parts, tempered glass protection for the screen, very fast printing time, an air filter and some other features. In this video we'll see what you receive, prepare the printer for printing, make some tests and even place the printed objects under a microscope. In this way you get an idea about this product, in case that you want to buy it. So guys, let's get started. What's up my friends, welcome back. I've just received the new resin printer from Elegu, and as you can see the box is huge. And this is the new Saturn II printer, which is AK and has a very big printing volume, so let's check it out, and we start with a quick unbox. As you can see the printer is well secured in place, so it cannot be damaged during shipping. Then we take it out and we get the box for the power cable, and inside of the printer we have the toolbox and the printing bed, and sincerely, this printer is really big. So let's check the toolbox. Well inside we get some resin filters, also some gloves and protective masks, the power supply of 24 volts, some pliers, a plastic and a metal print removal tool, we also get a pen drive, some tools and some spare screws, the user manual and this interesting part, which is an air filter to remove the smell and the bad vapor from the resin. That's pretty much all that you receive with this printer. So we are ready for some tests. I take the film protector from the printing bed, but also from the resin vat. We put back the vat and let's home the machine. Connect power to the printer and use the main switch to turn it on. Go to the menu and lift the Z-axis. Then we place the printing bed over and tie the top knob. We use the Allen key to loose the screws holding the bed. And make sure it can move freely and then you go in the menu and click the home button. Now the machine will go to the zero position. And at this point we tied back those screws. And then you have to go in the menu and hit the set Z equal to zero button, and now the machine is calibrated. So move the axis upwards once again. I also connect the air filter to the USB connector. Now let's add some resin. I think that I should shake the bottle a little bit more next time. But anyway, I insert the pen drive into the side USB connector. Now we go in the menu to print and select the first example file. And now it's printing. So till we get the results, let's talk a little bit about this new printer and all the specs. This printer is quite impressive. Obviously the part that calls our attention is the AK resolution display. Now that resolution is actually 7680 by 4320 pixels, and that results into perfect details. Actually I can't really see any layer line in the results, at 0.05mm layer height, so totally perfect details. Now the printing area is of 219 by 123mm, so more than 26000mm squared so with a resolution of 8K that equals to more than 1000 pixels per millimeter squared, and the pixel size is of 28 microns. The height is also quite big, 250 millimeters, so you can get pretty tall prints with this machine. And the display is monochrome, so the exposure time can be very low, from 1 up to 3 seconds, so you can finish your prints quite fast. We have the power plug on the back, just in the middle of the printer, and you also have this lid, that you could take it out and access the main board if you want. 
And as I've shown you before, they now included this USB powered air purifier to lower the fumes from the resin. Now have in mind that this USB connector is only for the air purifier and can be used for something else. And the air purifier is filled with carbon, so it will filter some of the fumes. Also the plastic cover has a fume extractor hole on the back. So you could remove this and connect a tube for external extractor if you have one. The machine is using two metal linear rails, so the movement will be very smooth, resulting into better prints. And above the screen, there is something more that I like. It now has a screen protection, because the screen might get a little bit fragile. That's such a nice feature to have, and the protection is of 9H tempered glass. Just like those that you use to protect your smartphone. This is a great feature because imagine that you drop your VAT or something else on the screen and you break it. That's quite expensive. And it will also protect against resin spill and is easier to clean. They now have a new light system with a Fresno lens. Basically they have a powerful UV light just below and to distribute the light evenly they use a Fresno lens like this one here and make sure that the light will reach the entire area of the display evenly. The vat is made out of metal and what I like is that it has these screws below so when you put it on your table, it will make sure that the FAP film won't touch the table. So that's also nice. And when you place it on the printer, it uses those same screws and these holes to center itself on the screen. And then all we have to do is to add these screws and tighten them. And I also like the new printing bed, especially the locking knob. It is a lot bigger and very easy to use. Very sturdy, made out of metal, and maybe a bit heavy, but I like it. And the nice thing is that you can now use it as a support and place the bed upside down. The pen drive is inserted on the side, the power button is in the middle, and then we have a color touchscreen to control the printer, move the axis, start exposure, change some settings and print from the USB drive. The design is pretty cool, the case is basically all metal. And it looks pretty nice, right? And by the way, it's quite silent. You can't really hear anything when the motor is moving, but all that you can hear is the fan inside, but even that is not that loud. Okay, so now let's see some results. The first test was obviously with the LA Good Towers that you can find on the USB drive. But I've made the mistake of not shaking the resin bottle too much, but anyway, the prints turn out great. Once you clean them with some alcohol, you can then use a UV flashlight or place them under direct sun for a few minutes. In that way they get stronger. This was actually not a great example, because I haven't cleaned them too well with alcohol, so let's just skip to the next one. I sometimes play League of Legends, and the next print was Jinx. This time I had to generate supports, because this object has a lot of hanging parts. To generate the printing files, I use G2Box, which is also included on the USB drive. So once you open it, you go to Options and select the Saturn 2 printer. Then you can drag your object and add supports if needed. Click the Slice button and once it's ready, you save it to the USB drive. Insert it into the printer and click Print from the screen. And this print took a few hours and we can see that the object is going up and down, layer by layer. When the print is ready, we use the print removal tool and get it out from the printing bed. Then we clean it with some alcohol. Then I leave it under UV light or direct sun. And I have to say, it looks quite promising. Now we have to remove the supports using some small pliers and our hands. And there you have it. I still have to remove some small parts from the supports, but the quality is amazing. We can see very small details, and you can't see any line from the layer change. It really looks like a mold injected part actually. And here I have it under the macro lens. 
and once again the details are perfect. But on the head we can see some lines, so I thought it would be interesting to place it under the microscope. So I let you decide if this quality is good or not. By the way, once the print was finished, you can cover the printer to protect the resin or you can use the filters and store back the resin into its bottle. The next print was using some black resin. I wanted to test the entire area of the printer, so I've placed a few prints all around. We have Ash from League of Legends, an elf, a horse from a chess game, these parts that I need for a future project and this teeny tiny test cube. And this print took around 5 hours. Once finished, once again we clean them with some alcohol. Then we cure them and let's take a look. We start with ash, which once again has supports, and we have to remove them. Ok, so because this was printed with black resin, we can't see the details that good, but if you go close enough, once again it looks like mold injected plastic. Since the color is so dark, it also looks like a bit dirty. On the cape we can see some layering. But have in mind that this part is less than 1mm thick, and it was printed with not too much support, so I guess that it moved a lot. But the arrow and the bow are quite good, even if they are so thin and fragile. Once again a good print, and there are just a few spots where I can see some layering effect. But in overall it looks just like a mold injected part, very smooth. Now let's take a look at this very small cube. Have in mind that this is just 1cm. We can see some small details, but I think it's better to place this under the microscope, right? This time since we have so much zoom, we can see some layering. But look at these small details. And have in mind that these parts go from 0.1mm. We can see that the 0.1mm slot is kind of closed, but above that we have a clear hole. And on this other side we have some nice details, especially this hole here. And on the other side we have some 0.1mm walls and they turn out perfect. And that's great. And on this side, the part that I most like is this X. Because have in mind this is very, very small. On the top part we can see that a bit got broken while cleaning the part I guess. But what do you think? Is this good or what? On the next print, which is this elf, I used another type of alcohol, and it did a terrible job. The print is full of blobs of dissolved resin and this can't get cured anymore, and it looks just like paint. But in general it was a good print, but it now looks very dirty. So I should use better alcohol and better cleaning method next time. And the same happened with this chess piece. You can see that the print is very very good, but the part is very sticky and dirty now. It has these blobs of resin and is very sticky. And the last part with this resin was this one. I need this for a future project and it turned out great. So I can now work on my small project with this printer and create more stuff with small details. Ok, so the next and the final part was printed with transparent ABS. I wanted to print this Millennial Falcon. For this part it's difficult to see because it's transparent, but it turned out great. So many details. And this print is quite big, and took me a few hours. So guys, these were the prints that I've made so far. I will make more for sure, and I will post the results on electronics.com with some high quality pictures. I hope that you now have a general idea about this printer, in case that you want to order one. Check all the links below. Thanks again, and see you later guys. 
Hey, so one more video that ends, I hope that you like it. Okay, so listen, if you want to buy my merch, my t-shirts, you have the links below for my shop, and I promise that I will make more designs. And also, maybe you would comment below which one you like more and what more designs you would like to see, because in that way I could start designing them and post my new t-shirts. So thank you for all the support, and I'll see you in the next video.